if you're wanting to play Call It What You Want by Taylor Swift the way that you saw her play it on Saturday Night Live, the first thing that you need to learn is the tuning that she's playing in. Um, the lowest string, the sixth string, which is traditionally tuned to an E, gets tuned down to a C. Uh, you may have heard of drop D tuning before. This is one step below that. So you tune the lowest E string, the sixth string, down to a C. The, the uh, fifth string of the guitar will stay at an A, so you don't change anything about the fifth string. The fourth string, which is traditionally tuned to a D, gets tuned down to a C. So you've got so far C, A, C. The third string of the guitar will remain at a G, so nothing changes about it. The second string of the guitar, which is traditionally tuned to a B, will get tuned up to a C. So you've tuned that up to a C. And then the first string, the highest string of the guitar, which is traditionally at an E, I believe gets tuned down to a D. This is the only one that I'm not 100% certain on. Um, watching her strum, it seems like she leaves that highest string out a lot of the time. It may be tuned down to a C as well, uh, but I think it sounds just fine if you tune it down to a D. So that's what your tuning sounds like. The very first chord that she plays is going to be on the 6th string, 5th fret, and it's that chord. Now you just fret one note, and then these other strings, really the 6th string, the 4th, the 3rd, and the 2nd are the ones that I hear behind it. She's playing with a pick. don't want to play the fifth string, the A string, you're not going to play that one in this first chord. And I've just kind of got it muted by how I'm laying my ring finger. The second chord, you're going to move to the fifth string, third fret, and play that C note. And then pretty much all the other strings can be strummed along with it. You don't hear so much the high first string but you hear the low C and then the second string and the third strings. The fourth chord, you're going to move up to the seventh fret of the sixth string. And the same idea as the first chord and the second chord. And then the fourth chord now that we're on is going to be an A minor chord, and the way that she plays that is you will have the open fifth string, the A string. You're going to fret, uh, or at least I fret, the fourth string on the fourth fret with my ring finger. Then you're going to fret the third string on the second fret with I use my first finger. And then you can let the bottom two or top two strings ring out. That's going to be your A minor. You don't necessarily want to hit this lowest C in this chord. If you do, it's not going to hurt anything, but pretty much you want fifth string down. And then the last chord, before it cycles back into the progression again, you're going to move from this to what would typically be a standard E minor look, but because we're in a different tuning, this won't be an E minor. But you're going to take your first finger and put it on the fifth string second fret. You're going to take your, I take my second finger and put it on the fourth string second fret. And that's the last uh, chord in this run of chords, and it just repeats. a couple of timing uh, variations that Taylor Swift throws in there with her lyrics hitting some of the different chords or some of the chords at different points than just the straight verse points that we just looked at there but uh, that's the main feel of it and getting the tuning down uh, is the main thing of going C A C G C and I go down to 
a D. It may be tuned down to a C. You could just theoretically leave it at an E, I guess, but that's how I've tuned it. Thank you.